The Cherokee Art Center, 212 Water Street in Tahlequah, recently hosted a shell carving class taught by Cherokee National Treasure Nagafti Scott. The class created shell gorget designs based on the Southeast Mississippian period and origins of the Cherokee people. And we're making shell gorgets, which was a pictorial pendant that the ancient Cherokees wore a thousand years ago. What we're doing in here is learning basic symbolism. And so the designs that we're working on is the sun circle and the four logs of the sacred fire. And we're doing theme variations of that design. So every one of us has done a different composition based on the same symbolism. So we can look at it and everybody can tell the story of what the design represents to anybody that wants to know more about it. The shells used in the class were called Mankeller Pearl Shells. The shell was named in honor of Wilma Mankeller by the Tribal Council in 1988. The Tribal Council renamed this uh, purple shell mussel in, in honor of our, our first female elected chief, Wilma Mankiller, who whose middle name happened to be Pearl, so they called it Mankiller Pearl Shell. The students selected their shells in traditional designs, then cleaned, inscribed, sanded, and polished them for finished products. I've always wanted to learn uh, shell carving. Um, I'd seen Nikofti, you know, years and years ago, and but, um, even as a kid, I was always a, would always pick up mussel shells and things on the along the lake and the the creek, and and I always thought they were so so interesting and and just knew there should be should be able to do something with it and so now I'm finally able to to uh, learn what to do with them. The Cherokee Basket Weavers Association held an elk skin purse making class recently taught by Sandra Pally. The elk skin bag was used as a traveler's bag for personal effects from around the 1780 to 1820 time period. We're stitching it uh, together and uh, we'll be fringing it. Uh, we're going to be beating the flap and um, it'll have the uh, braided strap, a pretty long braided strap so that it'll hang from the neck and down to your waist. Um, um, just a lot of fun to do. Uh, there's a lot of technique in it, uh, stitching through leather. Uh, elk skin is usually uh, pretty easy to stitch through and very durable. Pally started the class by teaching the students how to braid the handle. And you row it. And you'll see that the, the diamonds start to appear. The class stitched the leather together, added beads to accent the purse, and braided a handle for the bag. Students came from all over the area to participate in Paley's class. I love the class. I like working um, with the leather, the soft leather, and doing the beading. And um, I like the fact that we usually get a project completed w in one day because I like uh, to be able to really see the results of what I've, I've done. I've really enjoyed the class today. Uh, it's part of our heritage and uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's, I've never worked with leather before so this is my first time working with it and I've really enjoyed it. The Arts Center provides Cherokee artists a place to learn, create, exhibit and sell their work. It houses classrooms, studios, and a gallery. Cultural specialist Ryan Lee Smith says the Cherokee Art Center, which has been accepted into the Santa Fe artist market, will help emerging local artists. Lee says there are classes being held every weekend. We do have more artists and wanting to come in and work, wanting to teach, wanting to do workshops, wanting to hang their work, um, and it's it's still wide open for them to come on in. The center offers pottery, metal smithing, basket weaving, sculpture, and looming classes taught by Cherokee artists working to perpetuate the culture. The participants pay a small fee for the artists teaching the class and for materials. Tools and other materials are provided. Classes are open to the public. For information regarding these classes, times, and fees, call the Cherokee Arts Center at 918-453-5728 or check out the Cherokee Arts Center Facebook page.